Risei Kujikawa is waifu material. But first, would you like to see a totally unrelated 15-year-old girl in a bikini? Oh my god, I'm so totally fat! The teen idol. She can sing, she can dance, and she has a massive crush on you, Narukami. Hey. I'm the only one who sees you for who you are. Who knows who the real you is. Acting as a navigator of the Inaba investigation group, she's the third waifu we saved from the TV world, that is if you don't include Kanji. With that, here are my reasons why Risei Kujikawa is waifu material. If you ever dreamed of dating a celebrity, Risei is the closest thing to that in Persona 4 Golden. Her fame knows no bounds as she's constantly hounded by the paparazzi at her workplace and school. Risei can also be seen in several magazines and posters all around town. She's so famous that she even has posters of her inside Persona 5. She's a straight up household name in Japan, with fans around the world. Operating as a teen idol sensation, she decides to take an indefinite break from showbiz right before her final concert. I quit. Huh? That's it. I'm quitting the business. W wait, hold on! Risei! Yo, you Risei? Just straight out about it, huh? She later becomes a tofu lady, working together with her grandmother, who one time compared Risei to tofu. Yes, that gelatin like white stuff. What she meant was tofu may look fragile, but can be resilient, and while it stands out on its own, can also mix well with other flavors. Tofu is incredible. The tofu shop just so happens to be located in Murderfield, Inaba, with the greatest police force in the world. Everyone's the killer, and I'm a Super Mario! Risei's first encounter with Narukami was quite an intense one. Thinking he was a stalker, Risei led him throughout Juness. Eventually he caught up to her in the elevator, and returned to her phone. Why didn't you say so a whole lot sooner? My bad. I'm sorry about that. Hey, that strap. Huh? Looks pretty tasty. And thus started Risei's love for you, Narukami. Now Risei is certainly the thirsty, I mean most affectionate between the Persona 4 waifus. She has an upbeat personality as the youngest between the four. Definitely not the shy type. Sometimes possessive. Well now where are you going? Who are you going to see? It's a girl, isn't it? while at other times constantly flirting with you. Plus the way she cried her heart out the day you left Inaba. <laughs> the dude hasn't even left yet. Oh, and don't forget about drunk Risei. Not as true. Persona! Now to clearly confirm the drinks don't contain any alcohol, but just like Yukiko, Risei somehow got drunk on the atmosphere, but that didn't stop you from really getting into it. I'm the king. This display of coolness only triggered more affection from the uninhibited Risei. You're so sweet. And believe me, she's willing to fight for it. That king and that lab are mine now! Move it! Dude! You can't hold all three of them at once! Sorry, Yosuke. Our main social interactions with Risei has given us some pretty interesting dialogue. During one of our evening hangouts, Risei mentions that you need to chant your wish three times when a shooting star passes. She then asks us what our wish would be, and well, the answer is pretty obvious here. And let's not forget that time when you got snowed in with her. Real smooth, Risei. I think we all know where this is going, so let's just skip to the end. During Valentine's Day, she gave us some of her special homemade chocolates. I knew you'd notice how special it is. I added durian and habanero to it. I swear these girls are trying to kill me. Persona! Keeping with the trend, just like Yukiko and Chie, Risei can't cook either, but she is competitive. Aw, but I'll win hands down. You sure you want to make it that easy? What's wrong with these girls? Well, not mystery food X bad, her tendency is to make food way too spicy, as shown during the omelette competition they had. Another one bites the dust. So if you've got the taste buds for it, it shouldn't be a problem. It, it's spicy, but it's still good. Hm, I knew it. Nanako-chan's the most mature person in this room. Risei's social link struggle was all about people not seeing the real her. Her frustration comes from how she doesn't have any real friends who like her for who she really is. Instead, she's surrounded by people who just praise her idol personality, unlike Narukami. <laughs> you suck. Risei mentions that as a child, she was often bullied and that no one expected anything from her. Wanting a chance to change herself, her relatives sent in an idol application, and she just so happened to win. This is how we came to know the famous Rosette. In her midnight channel, her shadow self revealed the many sides of her as she struggles to decide on who she truly is. Man, this is confusing. During combat, Risei pretty much stole Teddy's role, and while it's doing a better job anyway. Oh man, how are we gonna fight without Teddy back in a... <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can't even finish that. She can thoroughly analyze enemies for possible weaknesses, which Teddy could never do properly. 
Some shadows have weaknesses, but they never make any sense. So just guess until you get it right. Despite not being a combat persona, Risei's shadow boss actually posed the biggest threat to the entire party. With the ability to analyze their persona's abilities, they were unable to damage it in any way, which would have meant game over until Teddy goes and saves the day. Persona! Appearance wise, Risei has that youthful, cheery look going for her, which really complements her idol status. Matching her brown eyes, she has pale skin and long copper brown hair styled in twin pigtails. She can normally be seen wearing that standard Yasugami uniform, complete with a bright yellow tie. Outside of school, she dresses in a range from simple to sophisticated fashion sets, and on the rare occasion she wears a yukata, she looks amazing. I look pretty good even in something like this, don't I? <laughs> How about it? What are your impressions? As a teen idol, Risei has some real talent when it comes to performing. Her former manager Inoue agrees with me. You had that spark. You learned fast, adapted well to new situations, had that smile that could be as strong or weak as you needed. And those acting skills of yours, you were like an old pro. Plus, in Nanaka's opinion, Rize is way better than her rival, Kanamin. Like any idol, Rize sings well with a beautiful singing voice, full of youth and hope. When the police event was canceled at Juness, Yosuke practically begged for Rize and the others to perform live to save his dad's job. After a ton of practice, what we got was the wholesome anime scene of Rize and the gang performing True Story, with vocals done directly by her voice actress, the beautiful Laura Bailey. <laughs> Accompanying her singing, Risei's dance skills are always sharp as she works around the clock to practice her choreography. Speaking of dancing, Persona 4 Dancing All Night was practically made for Risei, centered around her idol career after the events of Persona 4 Golden, where they used the power of dance to defeat shadows. Weird, right? Anyway, Risei, or should I say Reset, is looking like a real natural when it comes to this. Lastly, her amazing figure is also worth noting, as described by Yosuke. With those hips, and that sweet rack, and those beautiful legs that go on forever! Her Midnight Channel segment speaks for itself, leaving our boy Yu repeatedly tapping that record button. Too bad I didn't record any of it. Figures. So what do you think about Risei? Would you get up on stage with her? Be sure to leave a like and comment what you think about Risei Kujikawa, our favorite Juness idol.